also do tell people uh, before foam sclerotherapy that they might get uh, a migraine. Now I've only seen this in people who suffer with migraine anyway. It is very rare. Um, it is a complication, a known complication of foam sclerotherapy. We think that it's due to the fact that the cells, that the delicate cells that line the vein, the endothelium, they're disrupted by the uh, foam sclerotherapy and that's what starts an, a healing process. Uh, and the endothelial cells uh, have within them a large number of so-called vasoactive amines. Um, the most familiar to the general public will be histamine. Um, that's uh, released during the sclerotherapy process and that's why you sometimes get a histamine type reaction after um, sclerotherapy. But um, it's recently been identified that another uh, vasoactive amine called endothelin is released and that's what triggers a migraine attack. Um, I tell people because if you've never had a migraine attack and you do get a migraine out of the blue it can be very frightening with um, blinding headache, uh, flashing lights in front of the eyes, and perhaps disturbance of vision. So I, s I probably see it once or twice a year, and we do a lot of foam sclerotherapy, don't we, Pam, in this, in this, in this clinic? We see it once or twice a year, and uh, we always warn people. It only happens whilst the patient is here. It tends to happen immediately after injection. It doesn't last very long. Um, it doesn't occur on the way home, for example, after they've left the clinic. It won't last very long, and if it does happen, we'll let somebody have a quiet uh, room where they're undisturbed, and it passes off within a few minutes. Um, so that's another precaution we take. We warn people about the possibility of migraine after foam sclerotherapy.